Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and today I'm going to show you how I decorate for summer with my recent finds. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of content. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. So I cannot wait to show you the things I got and how I'm decorating it in my house. But first I want to talk to you about Dossier. They are partnering with me in this part of the video. They reproduce classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same quality by carrying all the expenses and the infamous brand tags, which is great because they are very affordable, their prices rank between $29 and $59, while designer scents can rank up to $280 in retail and usually for smaller quantities. So yes, you can get your favorite scents at a fraction of the price and with the same high quality, which is amazing. And I'm going to show you the two perfumes they kindly sent me. They all come in this box and inside there is a card. I'm going to do a close up so you can see it well with all the notes, the description, and the scent that is inspired by. This one is the Ambery Vanilla, which is inspired by the YSL Black Opium. So yeah, I'm going to try it right now. So good, love it. This one has top notes, Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, Licorice, Middle Note, Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and Base Notes, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. So yeah, this one smells amazing, just like the black opium. And this one is the floral violet, which is inspired by the Marc Jacobs Daisy, which I used for years, I love it. And I think it's a perfect scent for spring and summer. I'm going to try it in my other arm. Ah, oh, yeah, so good, just like the Daisy. Yeah, as I said, I've been using this for years and it's like, you cannot tell the difference. So good. And this one has top notes, watermelon, pomelo, strawberry, middle notes, violet, gardenia, jasmine, and base notes, musk, vanilla, and blown woods. And they have a standard 30-day return period in which customers can return any unsealed 50 ml dossier perfume and get a full refund, no questions asked. And they are always adding new scents to their collection, so they are always open to suggestions from customers for future releases. I like their sustainability policies. They donate all the return perfume bottles to a charity association as they try to not use plastic anymore. And all their perfumes are vegan and cruelty-free. They are never tested on animals, which is amazing. And OCA has a welcome offer up to 20% off on the website and you can get up to 30% off your first order by using the discount code that is going to be down below in the description. The extra 10% applies at the checkout on top of the welcome offer. And Dossier has a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. Select Catch at the last step of checkout and you earn $10 sign-on bonus credit. So yes, as I said, I love this concept. You can get your favorite scents at a fraction of the price with the same high quality. So the link is going to be down below in the description along with the discount code. So yes, don't miss it. I'm sure you're going to love it. So thank you Dossier for partnering with me in this part of the video. So I'm going to start with my dining table. As I mentioned before, we moved to an apartment that is an extension of my mother-in-law's house and some of the furniture that is here belongs to my husband's family like this table and chairs that I really like so I'm putting here these beautiful placemats that I got at Hobby Lobby that I show in my previous hauls along with this placemat here, this round one and the picture that are from Magnolia from a couple of years ago and I'm going to use it as a vase with these flowers from Hobby Lobby and Michaels.
these beautiful plates. I got them at Hobby Lobby and I love the colors. I think they are perfect for spring and summer. And I think they look great together here with these cream napkins by Hearth and Hand. And I'm adding these lemons that I got at Kirkland's last year on this basket from Magnolia to give this a fresh look, perfect for summer. Okay, I'm now I'm going to decorate this kind of sitting area that I made here next to the dining table with this old chair that my husband's grandmother gave it to me. It's a little, it's a little TLC, <laughs> but for now it works. I love that chair. This paint that I got at Hobby Lobby a while ago next to this beautiful hutch that would belong to my husband's great aunt so I'm going to put some things here on top a yeah, pillow there to make it more cozy don't mind my light here let's see how it ends up I think this is the perfect place for my beautiful pillow that I got at Marshall's that I showed to you on one of my hauls I think it looks great here. And here I'm adding this tray and napkin, both from Heart and Hand, along with this teapot and this beautiful iron stone cup and saucer that belongs to my husband's family too. They have a whole collection in this beautiful blue color. Also, I want to show you this. If you saw one of my previous Hobby Lobby hauls, I showed this at the store. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. I wanted it so bad. So I waited until all the wall decor was 50% off. So I came back and got it. The original price was 69, I think. So I paid half. And yes, I love it. It's definitely more farmhouse. I think it goes well with the couch and also at Hobby Lobby I got this pillow that they also all the pillows were 50% off I got this one I love the texture the neutral creamy color the tassels I think it looks great on the couch goes well together with these pillows that I got at Kirkland's this checkered one love that neutral color too so yeah together with the frame love it and I wanted to show you these two items that my husband's grandmother kindly gave it to me for this tool this cutie here and the strawberries is so cute the legs are like this and also she gave me this beautiful picnic basket. You can see it has this detail here. It's very vintage. <laughs> I, can, I think the lock here is broken, so you cannot hold it because inside is like this. Well, there's a plastic bag there. So it's like this, so you cannot lift it. <laughs> But the steel for the core, I think, looks great. And I put it on top of this tool. They look good together. First, I'm 
going to start in my kitchen that is a very small kitchen and I kind of wanted a strawberry theme <laughs> I was looking some ideas online and I saw many cute pictures with vintage inspired pieces I didn't have that much time to collect vintage strawberry pieces but I grabbed things from here and there Michaels have a very big selection of strawberry themed items and also Hobby Lobby has a lot of red so I'm going to show you what I got first at Michaels I grabbed this picture it says home sweet home with the strawberries looks very cute I like the cream color it has everything was 50% off summer so this was $16.99 full price I really like it then at Michaels too I grabbed this frame I really like with these three color chairs I like the look very vintage looking I like it too this was full price full price $12.99 I paid I paid half it's going to look cute then at Hobby Lobby, oh no, one more from Michaels, this red ball. I think this was $5 for full price. And then at Hobby Lobby, I grabbed this kitchen cloth. It was $4.99. Everything in spring was 50% off. I like this checkered red and white. And the matching pot holder. This was $5.99 full price. And this kitchen towel from Hobby Lobby 2 with the strawberries. I like the color. This was $7.99 full price. Very cute. And then I went thrifting to see if I could find some strawberry theme items. I just found these two. This is a teapot planter. Very cute. The back is flat, you can hang it. This was $10. It's going to look very cute. And from Goodwill, I got this big red cherry tea sign was $3.99 it's not a strawberry of course but I think it could work too I love the green color on the side and the vibe the font I love it this shelf and plants were here when we moved so I'm going to keep them here I love how they look and in the middle I'm going to put the teapot planter I think it looks very cute there. And I think the sign would look great here. Love this sign, this vintage vibe it has. I got this beautiful tray at Marshalls a while ago and I thought it would be perfect here and I add some fresh strawberries of course in this berry dish from Magnolia that has this sagey green color that I love and with this cute strawberry cup that I forgot to mention I got this at Hobby Lobby too I think they all look cute together And I had to add this beautiful 
Jane Austen's Table cookbook that I got at Marshall's. I show this on one of my hauls too. I love it. So this is how it ended up. So I guess I'm going to end the video here. I'm happy with the results. I like how everything end up. And as many of you requested on my Magnolia Market Summer Collection video, I leave it here so you can check it out. Some of you asked me to show you the shops at the silos. So that's going to be on my next video. So if you want to see it, don't forget to subscribe and click in the red bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video so you won't miss it. So yes, this is everything I wanted to show you. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.